about since this is a money show, I talk about how to save money so that you can have more money, have a better quality of life for you and your family. And what a better way to do that than budgeting. So this is my Christmas gift to you. Talking about budgeting tips. Even if you you didn't storm the shelves at 3 a.m. on Black Friday or go crazy over Cyber, Cyber Monday, there's always a good chance that you may have overspent during the holiday season. So if you are fretting about your finances, there's a few things that you can do to remedy that wallet. First, make some returns. It may be tough to do that, but it's time to take a hard look at the purchases that you made. Did you buy gifts for others? Splurge on yourself. A lot of times I know it's it's hard not to. If you intentionally made purchases for your loved ones, you will probably be safe holding on to those. Uh, any chances that you're budgeting um, over if you were over what your budget is but if you're spontaneously spending on things that you may not need because they were not on sale consider returning those extras and put money back in the bank also save uh, what you bought for future just because you bought for your children tons of toys doesn't mean that they need them all right now and I'm sure it might be okay to save a couple of those for maybe upcoming holidays their birthday and other things that come up Um, so that's another way Uh, Cut cost elsewhere. If there's overspent and you're feeling stressed, you may have to make some sacrifices to get back on track. That means it's time to scale back on the extras. It's time to budget and set yourself up for great success for 2018. Spending less than spending less than you make is often cited as most important personal financial goal. It helps to get out of debt, save for emergencies and stretch your money as far as you possibly can so that you can enjoy a little bit in your retirement years. It's the primary habit that enables you to achieve some level of financial freedom. Now, in if you can also be really it can be difficult to accomplish this In recent Federal Reserve Board study, only 53% of respondents indicate that they can cover emergency expenses costing just a small $400 without selling something or borrowing money. In some cases, it's lack lack of income that creates the financial strain. In many other cases, though, however, the problem could be overspending. If you have overspent during the holidays, here are some tips that can get you back on track for the new year. First, understand the goal. The goal of the bu- a budget is not to track money every dime that you spend. That's certainly one way of budgeting, but it's not the goal. In fact, you can know where all of your money is going and still not have an effective budget. The goal of a budget is to help you control your spending so that you can spend less than you make and focus your spending on what matters most. However, if you choose to budget, it should meet this goal. It doesn't have to be a wrong or right place, but actually budgeting and having something that you know that you want to buy in the future is really important. So always having something that you want to purchase helps you to enable set that to set that budget and that goal in place. Now, second is to track spending for a week. While not the goal of budgeting, tracking every dime that you spent for the short-term period of the time may be eye-opening. It will show you how spending even small amounts of money adds over time. It will also reveal areas of spending that otherwise go unnoticed. Ideally, you should track your spending for a full month, but even tracking for a week can provide valuable information about your spending patterns. Next, use the three-category budget. Given the goal of budgeting, most people do not need to track every dime that they spent again. For example, knowing how much you spend on gasoline may be interesting, but it doesn't change the behavior or the point of the expense that you have because some expenses they're going to be tracking what you're paying for a mortgage. That's an expense that you're going to have regardless. But most people overspend in just a few categories. So it actually makes it a lot easier for you to budget. Common examples, including eating out, buying clothes, uh, buying gadgets, entertainment. These are all areas that if you actually monitor and track, then you're going to spend less money. So budget is easy to implement and can have a significant effect on your finances, financing. Next, it may seem obvious, but not as easy. Save first. So if you can do the most important thing first, makes sense, right? It's going to come first priority. So remember that the goal of budgeting is to spend less than you make, i.e. save a little bit of money. One of the best ways to do this is to save first. Rather than saving what is left over at the end of the month, save for the fir- save first and spend the rest. This strategy takes advantage of behavioral finance by getting money out of your checking account into a savings account. Sometimes just having it over in savings makes it feel like it doesn't exist, and that way you can keep it in your savings and, again, have a better quality of life. Also, try the 5-20-30 plan. Popularized by Senator 
Elizabeth Warren in her first book, All Your Worth. This approach is bud- bud- budgeting benefits from simplicity. With this plan, 50% of your income goes to necessities, 20% to long-term savings, and 30% to lifestyle choices. This plan can be a good starting point for you if you're struggling to decide just how much you should be spending in individual budget categories. And last... Use the right tools. There's a lot of right tools and technology budgeting apps out there. Find the one that works best for you. A lot of times it's a visual or a way that it actually can be used that can be easy for you. But the importance is to find one and utilize it because it's going to help you be able to manage and monitor. Also, a lot of things are categorizing categorizing those those areas for you as well as tracking it in and uh, tracking it with your actual bank account. So again, this is my holiday gift to all of you. That's what the show is about. The money hour is about how to save money, make money, make the best financial decisions for you and your family. And I thought budgeting would be a good one. Coming up next on the Money Hour, he's someone's son, he's someone's brother, he's someone's father, he's somebody. Mama's Hands in the House of Hope right here on 1150 AM KKNW after this short break.